the workup for a painful locking elbow includes plain x-rays. This x-ray shows loose bodies as well as spur formation in the front and in the back. The best study to obtain is not an MRI, but rather a CT scan. This is a CT scan that clearly demonstrates an overgrown olecranon spur, as well as a spur in the front with multiple loose bodies in the front, as well as within the joint. This patient is suffering from what I've coined cauliflower elbow. Cauliflower elbow is a condition that happens in young athletes. Uh, I've marked off my anatomy here, radial head, capitellum, that's going to be my portal I'll be, site. I'll be putting a camera in the elbow, removing all loose bodies that are floating around, and then recontouring the distal end of the bones, finally releasing the capsule so that the patient can once again reach or fully extend. I'm doing elbow arthroscopy. I have my camera with a light source and a pump on this side. The patient is face down, looking down. The uh, arm is dangling off the side of the, the table. You see the probe. And I have this plastic cannula that allows me to move instruments in and out while maintaining the pressure inside of the elbow. Partially loose body here. There's a piece of bone that's moving around here that doesn't belong here. It was probably a loose body at some point that got stuck. And this will all be cleaned up. Uh, and multiple little loose bodies. I'm going to flush this out. I'm going to uh, chip this away over here, remove it so that I can recontour this patient's joint. To do an elbow arthroscopy is to be very careful using suction while using these types of burr devices in the joint because you don't want to suck in the vessels of the nerves that are very nearby. I'm removing this little spur over here of the coronoid. I've already removed some loose bodies. Recontouring it, you see there's a spur right over here. I'm gonna remove that. As well as that side, but once again, the key is to only use suction when you absolutely have these. The capsule is this early structure right there, and it's fibrous, it's very thick actually. The problem is that it does not let the patient fully extend their elbow, and it's released at the end, at the end, because once it's released, then we, then we lose uh, our pressure in the joint. Uh, so we won't be able to look in the joint anymore. So that's the last part. That's why we do it. So what's the trick to doing it? You have to have a retractor. So you see what I have right there? This is an obturator. I use it to put a little stretch on the capsule. See my hand right over here? So I'm putting a little stretch on the capsule. And I look over there. The capsule gets uh, taut. And then I have my assistant gently hold it. Everything's done very gently like this. And on the other side, I have an instrument that's a biter. Little biter massaging the tissue away from the white capsule. Okay. You can use a meniscus basket like I am, or a capsule punch specifically made for them. See, once I added a little bit more tension on my capsule, I was able to do this a little bit better. I have a retractor in there, it's basically the obturator. This is going to help the patient to be able to extend the posterior compartment. The posterior compartment, so what I've done is I put the camera in the back this is the olecranon process. The olecranon process is overgrown. It's a big spike back here. And it's also affecting this patient's extension. And I'm just clearing my little area where I'm placing, where I'll place the chisel-like instrument. Just removing this little spur right over here. Okay, so then I use an instrument that's like a little carpenter's chisel. I'll be placing, and you see the chisel right there, also known as an osteotone here in medicine. But watch what I do. I go like, huh? I have a mallet, a steel mallet. Remove this piece. It'll break right off because it doesn't really belong in there. So you can tell that it wasn't. Hold my scope here for a moment, please. Sure. Just to show you where we are. See? Okay. And if you look over here, the little spur is going to come out here in just a second. There it is. Voila, and that's it from Dr. Mora. You guys take care, thank you. These were the loose bodies and the olecranon spur that was removed. This is the before and after x-ray. The x-ray above shows the loose bodies and the spurs, the one below is the after. Please let me know if I can help you. If you enjoyed this video and you thought it was helpful, please be sure to share and be sure to comment. Until next time, stay safe.